Hey, hey, beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Whoa, we had a lot of information yesterday come out in the, the reading for Sagittarius. Uh, I actually had to go back and watch it three times. Like, it blew me away. The information that is coming out for Sagittarius. So no darned well that Spirit and the Universe is working on Sagittarian energy. And I'm grateful for it. The more knowledge, the better. The more wisdom, the better. So I'm grateful for that. Sagittarius, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for you guys. Each and every one of you know that. You know, it's... Uh, a lot to do with Sagittarius that this channel is growing to the proportions that it's growing to. I owe you my thanks and gratitude for that Sagittarius. It's helping circulate important messages and all your views, your likes, your comments, your subscriptions are help helping to circulate those messages as well as it is raising your own vibrations. All the comments that you're leaving, it's so many people relating to it. So for that, I thank you. I, I read each and every one of your comments. And no, I don't have the time to respond to them, but I do read them. And uh, it lets me know your energy. It lets me know what, uh, how it's relaying to you. I'm blown away by how many people it's resonating with. Um, so no doubt spirit is very well aware of your situations. Hmm. You know what I got on my mind, Sag, when I was talking in that reading about this little novice working behind your back, I'm going to see if the universe will give us any more information on that. But for now, I want to see what your messages are from the universe, Sag. Saggy Energy Spirit, what can you give us today for Sagittarius that will assist Sagittarius? Stargate Heart. Heart Chakra is opening, unlocking, and generosity is being released to you. Hather Light Codes. Light Immersion. Full System Upgrade. Power Recall. So you're in... <laughs> You're in total light immersion, a full system upgrade, power recall. So it is codes. You're somehow you're being sent codes, codes to activate your light. It's a complete upgrade. And I've been feeling it so strong. Akashic Records, clearing old stories and releasing past lives of freedom. Sag, you're getting new blueprints, new uh, paths opening up to you, and it is clearing up the Akashic Records. It's like eliminating all the past, starting fresh. I'm liking it. I knew you were being led in a different direction, but... Soul Star Activation, Fulfilling Soul Contracts and Remembering Who You Are, Sagittarius. Shambhala, Initiations, Retreating to Recharge, Trusting in the Process, You're Fulfilling Your Dharma. You're on a brand new cycle and it's your your dharma, your life purpose. It is fulfilling soul contracts and remembering who you are. Re, you know, you're in this retreat energy to recharge. You're being going through a complete upgrade. Dharma. Syria 
is star blessings. Yes, proceed, be seen, and push through. I told you you're getting blessings here, Saj, and Akashic Stargate aligned with purpose, crossroads. There is no wrong path now, Saj. The central sun, abundance, downloads, regeneration, and success. That's why you're being successful. Memories of Atlanta, spiritual acceleration and progress and technology. Man, oh man, it's recalling. Um, you're going through a complete overhaul, Saj. <laughs> It's been some time. You're being completely rebuilt from the ground up. And you're recalling past successes. Complete light illumination here. Oh, I can't believe your energy is sad. You know, for like over a year, I know for a lot of you, some of you, it's been seven, ten years, maybe more. <sighs> it's all been worth it, Sag. Just trust the universe. What's going on, Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Hmm. That's why you've had so much damn deception around you, Sag. These little gossips, these little novices, deception, rumors, innuendos. It's all betrayal. It was to, uh, it's definitely was to keep you off your life purpose. It was definitely done to keep you from fulfilling whatever the soul contracts were that you've made before you got here. And Spirit is saying, hmm, well, we're going to rebuild Sag from the ground up. We're going to activate Sagittarius's life purpose. We're going into the Akashic Records. We're wiping Sagi's debts clean and free. And Sagi now has got the green light. That's why you're going to be so successful. It's just your cycle. It's your turn. Yeah. Hmm. The angels are the four directions here. So this consciousness of lack was based upon deception. Hmm. But the angels have been watching all this deception going on. The sacred temple is here. This is body, mind, and soul completion. And that's why you've had so much deception around you. Because, you know, <laughs> whoever these evildoers are, it was to keep you from your sacred path. But there's no stopping it, Saj. Planning and action. Hmm. This is family. Oh, 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 oh. What is this damn wearing a false mask, hiding behind a mask? I don't know if they're family, like this Karmic's family. Or your persons, whoever you've been dealing with, it could be family, it could be a family deception, it could be that people around Saj were, well, we know they were wearing false masks. Huh. To bring about conflict. It was intentional, Saj. 
whoever these people are, it was to deliberately create a bunch of conflict for you, uh, deception for you. They're fake ass people, whoever they are. Now, it could be the karmic and the karmic's family. I don't know. I'm saying it was deliberate. Well, yeah, it was intent to create conflict in your life, deception in your life. They're on the decrease. You are getting peace and a happy success. Uh -huh. This is to keep you. That's why they, you know, um, that's why they were pulling at you, pulling at your energy, pulling on you, pulling on you, trying to confuse you. They don't want to let you go. Why? Because they're on the decrease without you. That's why, Saj. Mm. Keep you from getting this happy success. The energy of true love. The first love is love of self. That's where it begins. And you did. And now they're feeling this damn loss. Someone is feeling they lost their true love. They thought this was the end-all be-all and they allowed some deceptive family members or friends or co-workers whoever it is around this person's energy and now they feel that loss <laughs> snake in the grasses man I'm telling you Somebody didn't want this uh, uh, union to happen. They did not want this union to happen, to occur. The universe is putting this, uh, whoever these energies are, that were working against you, they're putting them in fear. The universe is in complete control of this. See? You were this person who was very loving, okay? You did not want to let this person go. You felt that this person was your true love, okay? You did not want to willingly release this person. So it wasn't an easy decision that you made, Sagittarius. You were very loving. You were this person's true love. And you're getting this great achievement by taking the honored path. You know what? 
This was a great achievement for Sagittarius as well as for this person. Their intention was to follow through. Their intention was to take the honored path with you, Sag. Their intention was to take this forward. They're guided. Sagittarius has done a complete transformation. All the Ascendant Masters have been guiding you, have been showing you, putting the pieces back together of Sagittarius, Tori of Heart, Sag. You're on the increase, you're manifesting careers, you've had people around you and guides around you helping you heal, helping you get on your path. It is showing here that... You're manifesting a new world for yourself, a very abundant one, a great achievement, huge milestones being taken here. And now they're feeling like the victim. Victim mentality. Because you've got a new beginning. You honored your higher self. You're getting great achievements. So it was deliberate. This person's dark thoughts. People around them causing them to have negative thinking. Making them feel like somehow they're a victim. They could have gotten on and stayed on this path with, path with you. They broke the contract. Listening to deception. Listening to other people, colleagues, friends, family members. So it's almost like saying soul contracts will be completed. That's exactly what it said. So if this person you're going to push through it all. What did it say about that soul contract stuff? You're aligned, man, in perfect alignment. That's why you're getting abundance downloads, regenerations, and success because you completed your journey. You're on your life path, your dharma. You're remembering who you are. This is about fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. What did it say about that? Clearing old stories, releasing past lives. So this person may have had uh, some type of You know, they may have had a debt to pay. A karmic uh, debt to pay with somebody from a past life. Whoever these deceivers are. They're going to have to... Learn the hard way. That's what Spirit's saying. What's going on, Sagittarius? You've been divinely guided. You stayed on the honored path. 
you had pure intentions, you had no evil thoughts, you had no deceptive thoughts, your thoughts, your intentions were pure, it's like you're being rewarded, it's a huge milestone. That's why this person's energy keeps pulling on you. They didn't want you to go. But it's like you're honoring your soul contracts that you have had. You listened. Your first soul contract is with your own soul. What is good for Sagittarius? And now they're feeling like the victim because you've completed your tasks. You've completed your soul contracts. They didn't. They were too busy listening to other people, listening to family, friends, colleagues, everybody else, except for the soul contract that they had with Saj. And now they're feeling like a victim because you have completed your transformation and they have not. You honored your higher self. So obviously this goes back to the past past lives. You know what I mean? Maybe in a past life you did not follow your soul path. Maybe in a past life, Saj, you didn't stand up to this person. Maybe in a past life, this person hurt you in a past life. And maybe they're repeating patterns. You had the decision, Saj. You could have stayed in this or you could have moved on. And you decided to honor your own soul contract and do what is best for Sagittarius. Holy jeez, what a powerful read, Saj. Jesus. That's why there are memories of love. And that's why Spirit is saying, choose wisely, Sagittarius. That's why there's suffering in silence and you're healing. There are memories of love here. But it's about your choices, your decisions. You made a wise choice. I think that you were suffering in silence, Saj. I think that this broke your heart. I think you were suffering in silence. And you made a choice to move forward, to honor your own soul. You stood your ground. And that's all this person had to do too, is stand their ground. You've made positive movement forward. The universe is telling you it was a wise choice for you to stand your ground and move in a positive direction. You were suffering in silence, Satch. You were hurting. You listened to your intuition. Love begins. Power. You listen to the universe. You spin light activated. It's activated your light within you. And this person is trapped in fear. 
because they didn't honor the contract. You have harmony and peace. There's a coming together in solitude. In solitude, you have learned there is harmony. There is peace. There is hope. What's going on? Rest and rejuvenate. Somebody is being reactivated from the ground up. This is the base chakra. Maybe it's this person being reactivated. I don't know. Rejoice and celebration. Listening to your higher self. Listening to the universe. Authority. Spiritual union. Balance. Fulfillment of wishes. The truth. That's why this person is going through a tower. They've gotten a realization about that this is a spiritual union. That this was fulfillment of wishes. This is material and spiritual prosperity, Sag. But they fell into temptation. That's why they got to go through a tower. And you have a victory. It is to bring people into awareness. To show people the truth. And that's why they're being slapped with financial and material changes. So they fell into the sacral chakra. Let their sacral chakra rule them. That's their sexuality. And they sacrificed a spiritual union. And now they're sitting here mentally conflicted. Well, you have a prosperous new beginning. Damn right there was heartache and loss. And you're reaping a material harvest. And I think you moving on. It's all about movement, choices, and decisions. And Spirit is obviously telling you you made the right decision. You've gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge. And now you're getting this new beginning being built back. They sacrificed a spiritual union that was a soul contract, a spiritual contract, because they got bored. They were feeling discontent and bored, so they fell into temptation, and they sacrificed a spiritual union because they started listening to gossip, rumor, um, put everybody else as a priority over this spiritual union. Well, your passions are being ignited. You might be forming new partnerships and alliances. I don't know. You waited. But you started. That's why you're moving ahead quickly. You listen to your divine wisdom, your divine path, and you stayed on it. I think that you waited. I think that you did. I think you waited for this person to make a wise choice. I think that you waited for this person to choose you. That's why you get a victory and a success. Rebuilding on a firm foundation. And that's why they are feeling emotionally withdrawn.
this is victory this is destiny they have to face their shadow they got shadow work to do this is home stability they fell into deception and envy they themselves were deceptive and envious of your victory of your destiny of your stability it's them because you've completed your transformation you've gained spiritual strength that's why you're so fertile I don't think there's some sort of change in communication. Yeah, you're getting recognized and rewarded from the universe for listening to your intuition, what is good for Saj. And they're feeling conflicted and defeated because they fell into deception and envy. And now it's like they're kicking their ass. I think they're hoping to overcome obstacles. Patience is here. They're feeling an emotional loss. I think that they would like to have a new beginning with you. I do. It's going to be your call. There are no wrong decisions. Deception and envy. Greed, jealousy, envy. And you listened to your intuition about this deception. These are secrets. These are lies. These are rumors. This is gossip. Backstabbing. That's deception. That's the emperor. Being deceptive. That's deception, envy, lies, secrets are coming back to haunt them. Uh, they're being tormented. What did I do to my beautiful Sagittarius? Fell into jealousy and envy. That's what they did. Rumors, gossip, jealousy, envy, deception, and you moved forward. Saw your own value. There is memories of love here. This is celebrating Sag partnerships and alliances. It could have been that they were, they could have been celebrating, you know what I mean? other partnerships, other alliances. They took a risk, allowed other people to interfere in this union. That's why they have memories of love. This is past life repeats here. Friends, family, colleagues were all jealous and envious of this union. I don't care who it was. There was everybody working against this union because that's what the devil does. Tempts you and this person fell into it. You started to look in the mirror see your own value you're the nine of pentacles the temperance the queen of pentacles stable foundation wheel of fortune These are cycles. These are karmic cycles. These are that Sagittarian energy changing their own life, their fortunes for the better. You made a wise decision. You made positive movement forward. 
I think you've cleared up some kind of um, past life karma. I do. And I've walked away. Betrayal. Backstabbing. Deception. Maybe this person was gossiping about you. Maybe this person was deceiving you and backstabbing you behind your back. Whoever this person was dealing with, they're not innocent here. You're being blessed after the separation. You're being rebuilt, renewed from the ground up. Your light has been activated. You chose the right door on this lifetime, Saj. You've walked away from uh, perhaps it was a soul contract that the two of you made in a past life that if they got the opportunity to come back, they would fulfill the contract. They didn't. And now they're regretting it. They're, they're ashamed. Embarrassed. Guilty. Their guilty conscience is bothering them because they know they betrayed you. They know they lied to you. And they haven't even had the integrity to speak to you. Yeah, now they're trapped in fear. They are. Because somewhere in their soul, they know they betrayed you. They know. They're eight, nine, and ten of swords. They're trapped in some kind of soul contract here. A karmic soul contract. Juggling. The King of Wands. I don't know. They they knew this was true love. Like it's saying that this person prayed that if they got the chance to come back to this lifetime, they would, they asked the universe, please, this is my true love. Give me another chance. Give me another chance with my true love. They come back and they did the same thing. They pushed away their true love for the devil. Because of what? Spies, rumors, gossip, information that was relayed to them. Mm. They know you had unconditional love, okay? But there is someone around this person. Now, I don't know if this is a baby mama energy, but they are spying. You followed your destined path. This was fated. This was destiny. And the information that somebody collected or relayed to them. Bad news. Caused the destruction. They're still in love with the Queen of Wands. Who is their true love? Oh my God. So whatever information that was um, rumors, gossip, somebody buzzing in this person's ear, spreading rumors, lies, deception. The person is not innocent here, Sagittarius. They are not. It is the King of Wands who fell into deception. 
It was lust, greed, a karmic soul connection that this person went to. They had a karmic debt to pay. I don't know what the hell is going on here. I'm not in past life, but I can tell you it's been carried over from a past life. The Magician. There's that goddamn novice. There is some kind of page energy. Could be a baby mama, could be several people, could be a mother, a mother figure, whatever manipulated this situation. It is that damned information. What was ever relayed? Now we have air energy here with the magician. That might mean something to you, that might not. This is what was spoke to the magician spoke to this person and completely put them in these dark thoughts, made them go back and forth in their energy. They could have traveled, tried to like, maybe they thought that this person was deserving, uh, I don't know, of commitment. Oh, they're being taught. It's to be taught a lesson. And this uh, karmic is teaching them a lesson. Mm -hmm. That's the path they chose. Silence. Spiritual path. They're in love with the Empress, this Queen of Wands. You're being blessed. I think that this person is saying they want another opportunity with you, Sagittarius. I don't know. This was a spiritual contract that they broke. Seven of Swords. Could have been while they were working. This is to learn them a lesson. It's a spiritual, universal contract here. It's like saying when they were at work, they were out cheating. Instead of honoring this contract, They became indecisive where to sow their oats, basically. They ignored the contract that the universe handed them. They ignored it. They were too busy looking at all their other options, sowing their, their oats. And that's why they're getting judged. This is spiritual law. This is spiritual... Um, They were called to step up to the plate, is what they were. Spirit called this re person, refused the call. I don't know. I don't know. They started looking for happiness somewhere else. They became cold and detached and made a decision to travel somewhere, thinking they were going to find happiness elsewhere and they have been heartbroken. 
I don't know if this is a one night stand. I don't know what they figured. And now they're stuck. Because they moved in a direction, uh, they had many choices. So this person chose sexuality because of a novice. There's that freaking novice again. Started, uh, figured that they could give to two. They were offering you very little. They offered you breadcrumbs because they were out traveling about. That's what it's saying. They were out traveling about. They decided to follow their sexual path in and had many options. That's why they breadcrumbed you. I think they intended to return, Sag. They chose everything, pretty much. They chose work over you. They chose family over you. They chose friends over you. They made that path. They made that decision. I think they were in search of the lake. They were offering you breadcrumbs. They knew this was a soul contract. They knew it. And now they're angry. They're hostile. They rushed into something without thinking properly. I think now that they're angry. Because they got the truth. That's why. Greedy. They're greedy. Their family is greedy. Their friends were selfish and greedy. The truth has come out about the selfishness, the greed. It was for greed. Financial greed, whatever other kind of greed. Maybe this person was contributing to a family situation, like paying for expenses, stuff like that. And these family members became envious and jealous of this connection because they figured they were going to lose out somehow. See? Started a war. These messages started a war. A competition. Conflict. Friends, family, and co-workers. Another lover? I think it's saying they chose another lover, putting you in a competition, thinking you were going to chase after them, and this empress didn't. Justice. This King of Pentacles put money, family, friends, co-workers, anything and everything above their soul contract who they asked for. That's why they're going broke. They went in search of gold. They went in search of money. That's why they're being, it's being taken from them. And spirit saying this is justice and it's almost like they're taking it from this person and giving it to you because you chose the honored path that's why you're being blessed you are the nine of Pentacles plus the eight of ace of Pentacles which is ten Pentacles they thought they had it in the bag Sag Spirit saying this is justice, this is fair. 
Maybe they had like uh, 10 pentacles at one time. Maybe they had like... Yeah. They gotta carry the weight on their back. It's an ending. It's a complete overhaul. This person had to be knocked right down to the ground to be rebuilt. Because, I mean, they're... I don't know if... Hang on. Yeah. Yep, they're hurt, they're ghosted, and this is an ending due to selfishness, self-fulfillment. They should apologize, Spirit is saying, but their ego is standing in the way. They know they should make something fair, make something right, but this person's ego will not allow them to. That's why they got to be knocked down. They were too stuck in their ego, man. And whoever these little novices were around them, this person's ego was definitely what caused their downfall. They couldn't tame the beast, man. The beast within. They have no self-control. And so they listen to other people and they're not innocent here. They were doing the deception. They fell into temptation. Yes, they were tempted, but they're the ones that fell for it. So they got to pay the price. This person is now hurt and wounded. They're feeling like the victim because this situation has come to an end. Now they feel like they're the victim. They're not taking accountability and responsibility for their own actions. So spirit is taking things away from them till they learn their lesson. They are feeling like a victim. And maybe they were spreading rumors and gossip about you and yapping about Sagittarius. Sagittarius did this. Sagittarius did that put the blame on Sagittarius and maybe they whined to their friends and their family and said, oh, terrible Sagittarius. They were feeling like the victim, yet they were the ones responsible. So when they betrayed you, they betrayed themselves. So let them cry over spilt milk, Sag, until they learn their lesson. They're going to need professional help. And maybe they're seeking professional help. Because they are definitely feeling like a victim in a situation. And they are the only ones that are accountable. False mass. That's the karmic. Enticing them.
it was intended because you know why they were feeling like they were lacking something this person sat here they had the bird in the hand and they went for the two that were in the bush in this case several options they happen to choose one that's teaching them a damn harsh lesson they are feeling like a victim I just know that Sagittarius is getting abundance downloads, codes, messages, clues, downloads, regeneration, and being very successful at it. You're completely tuned into star blessings. Akashic stargates opening up to you. You know what I mean? You are remembering who you are, Sagittarius. You are remembering your role in the universe. You are remembering your purpose, your life destiny. You just trusted the Ascendant Masters to guide you, and they did. You listened, and you're being rewarded for it. And that's why this person now is feeling like the victim because you've achieved your goal you are fulfilling your obligation your contract to the universe whatever you made you will remember it one day Sag if you don't know it you'll remember it and it keeps changing it keeps getting added to you get more powerful and more guidance and when you take each step, it's like, oh, you get another download, you get another activation. And this person, they're feeling, they're crying over spilt milk. They're like, I don't have my, my true love anymore. I, I fell into temptation. Everybody else did this. Everybody else did that. Everybody else this poor me, poor me, poor me. Well, Spirit's teaching them a lesson. You want poor me? I'll give you a poor me in a big way. You made that decision. You made that choice. Nobody told you to walk down that road. Take care. Enjoy your day, Sag.